Anansi and the Flip-Flap Bird Adapted from Anansi the Spider, a tale from the Ashanti by Gerald McDermott Anansi the Spider-Man had five children. Their names were Seal, Road Builder, River Drinker, Fish Cutter, and Stone Thrower. And if you can't guess why, well, this story will tell you. One day... Anansi had to go to town on business, so he kissed his children goodbye and set off. Don't wait up. Soon after, Seal called all of the siblings together. Quick, we, we must rescue father. I've seen a great flip-flap bird in the distance. Surely it will capture and eat dear old dad. Oh, I'll build a road as quick as may be, said Road Builder, and so it was that they all set off to rescue their father. Now Anansi had just got to the river and was wading in up to his ankles trying to find out how to get across. He heard the flip-flap bird. He knew what danger it was. The flip-flap bird wanted nothing more than a tasty morsel that Anansi would make. It swooped down and caught Anansi in its large beak and began to carry him off. But quickly, Stone Thrower threw from the shadows. I'll save you, Dad! Boom! Ah! The flip flap bird was hit in the wing and dropped Anansi down, splash, into the river. Now, Anansi began swimming for his life with all eight of his legs but he wasn't as fast as the fish. The fish knew what to do with a spider, and he swallowed Anansi in one big gulp. Fortunately, River Drinker was nearby by this point. Dad, Dad, I'll help you. Uh, River Drinker to the rescue! He drank the river dry in one gulp. Now was Fish Cutter's time to shine. He took out his blade and zip! He cut the fish right down the middle and out popped a Nancy. Good as new, if a little the worse for the wear. Oh, thank you for saving me, my children. I think it's time we should go home. When they arrived at their home, they sat down to dinner and an argument began. Who had been the most valuable asset when trying to save a Nancy? A Nancy had heard enough and took a turn in his garden. He was grateful for what his children had done. After all, they had saved his life. What to give them? A gift would be nice. That is when he spied it. A beautiful, glowing ball resting in the branches of a fig tree. Huh, just the thing, he said. What a pity there was only one of them. He went indoors to ask the children which of them deserved the prize. Well, me, of course. We wouldn't have seen anything if it hadn't have been for me. Wait a minute. I was the one that built the road. You can't get anywhere without that. Yeah, but who drank the river anyway? Yeah, but the river had the fish, and I cut him. Oh, wait a minute. Who rescued him from the flip-flap bird? Meanwhile, while the argument continued, the flip-flap bird had turned up in the garden. Her wing was still sore from being hit by the stone, and she had lost her lunch when she dropped an answer. She had seen a Nancy admiring the glowing ball and thought she would play a trick on the spider. So she flew over to the glowing ball and groaning under the weight, she picked up the ball in her beak and carried it high in the sky as she could, at last hanging it on the tip of a star. Nancy went back out into the garden, but the ball had disappeared. 
He searched everywhere before he realized it was hanging up in the sky. Anansi, clever as always, had an idea, and he called his children to the yard. See all. Road builder? Uh, river drinker? Fish cutter? Stone thrower? Let me tell you something. I have decided to put an end to the argument. I have hung the ball in the sky so that you can all share it. It will give light to the world every night, and I shall call it the moon. <laughs> His children thought Anansi had been very clever, but see all knew what had really happened. He said nothing, and the moon is still up there, thanks to the flip-flap bird. <laughs>